Hey there and welcome on back. As always, I'm Carl with Target's Attitude. As it my professor nice and all things sharp. Today it's Monday. A rainy Monday, as a matter of fact, if you can hear it. So, that must mean it's Knife Basics, which you really need to know. Going over something I had already touched on in another video, but I'm getting lots of questions about. How do you take care of the wooden handles on knives? Yes, the care of wooden handles on knives, and cutting boards for that matter. Um, as I said, I went over it in another video, but apparently people want something more. So, we'll go over it again. Before we get into that, let's get the syllabus work out of the way, shall we? If you're new here, welcome. Here on Mondays, we do basics, which you really need to know. This is aimed at those who are kind of new and want to know the basics of knives. Uh, what do we mean when we... Say my card, what is a hollow grind? What is a drop point? Uh, how do I take care of my knives? All that sort of thing. Still some information for those who have been around a while that can find useful, but it's mainly aimed at those who are new. And on Fridays, we do knife reviews. Occasional I'll review a piece of camping equipment or survival gear. You know, compasses, flashlights, cook equipment, that sort of thing. But mainly knives. For those of you who have been with us for a while, welcome back. I'm glad to see you again. Just got one question for you. Have you subscribed yet? Okay, good. I'm getting some answers this time. And that's great. We're up to around, over 100... Excuse me. Yeah, I can talk. We're up to over 860 subscribers, which is fantastic. Don't forget, we're doing a subscription drive, so keep it up. Keep hitting that button down there that says subscribe. Get all your friends, too. Who knows? Maybe you'll win yourself something nice when we hit a thousand subscribers. It's possible. But on to nights. So, anyway, as I had mentioned, that one of the best ways to take care of wooden knife handles is not to run them to the dishwasher ever. And two, to rub them down with oil once in a while. Um... I personally prefer walnut oil. Mineral oil is quite often used. It's very um, traditional. But you want something that's not going to go rancid on you. So, yeah, tallow definitely is out. And a lot of other corn oil, uh, no. Nah. You're also going to want something that will soak into the wood. That's why I like walnut oil and why mineral oil is so useful. They're both food safe, so, you know, if someone should lick the handle of the knife, you're not going to get sick. Um, that's basically it. And, yeah, washing your knife can cause problems. For example, these are the same brand of knives, same handle. This one has never seen anything but hand washing, and even it's still getting a little dry, and it's time to oil it up. These two, I had a housekeeper who came in when I was laid up with COVID um, and didn't know what was going on. Run with the dishwasher. As I say, it's the same wood, same everything as this one, but look how much lighter and drier they are. And this one is trying to start to crack right through here. Feels very rough. So how do you take care of them? As I said... Oil is probably the most traditional and best way, but there are also things on the market, like this is one I carry. Um, it's my own special recipe. Uh, cutting board polish. Uh, let me, there we go, now you can read it. And uh, I normally sell this only at shows, but I've got a couple people ask me to go ahead and put it on my website, so I might just do it. I also use it to uh, finish cutting boards and charcuterie, yeah, charcuterie boards that I make and sell at various uh, places. So it's good stuff. It's uh, very clear. No odor whatsoever. Uh, it's 
Main ingredients are beeswax and mineral oil. Organic beeswax to be exact. And it's very simple. To use it, you just take yourself a cloth or a sponge, a little bit on the rag, and let's use the one that's the worst shape. You just rub it in. It's not going to hurt the blade if it gets on there. And in fact, it'll help keep the blade from rusting a little bit, and it'll help fill in any cracks right in there. Now, notice how much better it looks already. Just set it aside for a few minutes for it to dry. I'll go ahead and do another knife that's almost as bad. It doesn't take much. Just a little bit. And look how much better that looks. Or how about this one that uh, I've been taking care of properly all these years, but it's still 20 years old. And this stuff has more oil in it than wax. Um, you can get stuff that's much harder. This is almost like butter in consistency. So your hands are going to get kind of greasy from using it. See, doesn't change much of the appearance because it's been taken care of, but still makes it look a lot better. And ordinarily, I'd let this stuff sink in a little longer than I have, but since we're doing this for a video, I don't really feel like doing time lapse. Now, once it's had a chance to dry a little bit and soak in, I just come back and rub it like I was giving it a good polish. There you go. Just that much. And the handle is looking amazingly better. Um, and it's no longer oily. It, the oil is pretty much soaked in or been rubbed away already. So if I'd given this the full 10 minutes that uh, I recommend before polishing, it'd be even nicer. So, um, as I say, there's other stuff out there. You don't have to buy from me. You go on Amazon, do cutting board uh, polish or cutting board wax. You're going to find a ton of different ones. Uh, you don't even have to use the uh, polish or wax. Go to your local grocery store or pharmacy and pick up a bottle of mineral oil. Uh, they sell it for use as a natural laxative, but it does such a nice job. Um, go to your specialty market and pick up some walnut oil or some grapeseed oil. Again, will do a wonderful job, and neither walnut oil nor grapeseed oil go rancid very easily, so um, you don't have to worry about your knife smelling like rancid butter uh, two or three days from now. Especially if you wipe the excess off. Because it will absorb a lot of it. And once it's in the wood fibers, 
it's great. It's as long as you keep it wiped down and properly prepared for, you got no problem whatsoever. See, this one's already not feeling very you know, greasy, and by the time I finish polishing it. There you go. Makes a huge difference in the appearance. <coughs> you know, make your knives last a lot longer. So, I hope that uh, cleared a few things up. Very short video, very plain, very simple. But as many people as I've been having ask about it, I think it was time to put something up about it. Um, hope you enjoyed. I've been trying to shoot a video on how to sharpen, but um, quite frankly, I've been having camera issues, so uh, you don't need to see my stomach or the top of my head. You need to see my hands and what I'm doing while I'm sharpening. So once I've got Janie's getting done with the uh, finals this week, hopefully next week she can help me shoot that video because she'd be able to hold the camera properly and get right in on what I'm doing so in the meantime I'll leave a couple of videos over here you might enjoy and as always you can always hit that target right there to subscribe I hope you do you take care of yourself and we'll see you on Friday bye now